shots have been fired. No, I'm just kidding. It's not that bad, but it is some conversation that Zach Britton decided to have upon announcing that he is retiring from Major League Baseball. You guys, of course, know who Zach Britton is. Pitched for the New York Yankees, retired now as a Yankee, but came over in 2018 in the deal from the Baltimore Orioles. Pitched that year to a uh, 2.88 ERA, was then re-signed by the New York Yankees and Pitched to a 1.91 ERA. Then he started getting the injury bug a bit. Only 19 innings in 2020. Uh, 1.89 ERA. And then 2021, 18 innings. And then 2022, two-third of an inning. And, of course, at that point, figured that was it. But Zach Britton decided to make a little bit of noise on his way out. Let's go ahead and flip to uh, the tweet that I put out earlier this morning. Here's the quotes. When I was with the Orioles... You were intimidated to play them. They had so much talent, the way they carried themselves. You didn't want to go to New York uh, because they were so imposing. And I feel like we lost a little bit of that when I was there. So it's nice to hear him at least say while I was there also. Kind of feel like we started to lose that. How do you get back to that? For me, with the Yankees budget, they should get the best players. They have to some extent. But really building powerhouses to make it a place people want to play. I remember hearing people say, oh, I don't want to go to New York. And it blew my mind. That was the most eye-opening thing. Talking to opposing players and them saying, it's not the same coming in there. It's not as, in- it's not as intimidating as a place. When I was a young player, the pinnacle was the play for the Yankees because they were so good. I don't know the one thing to get them back, but those older teams used to beat you in so many ways. They were so well-rounded. It wasn't, oh, let's just keep it in the ballpark. They could single you to death, steal a base, walk. I think they've got to find a way to get back to that. So again, guys, these aren't really, you know, Zach Britton beating down the New York Yankees. But uh, the big difference, and I don't want to put this on one person, Zach Britton came to the Yankees in 2018, the first year of Aaron Boone. He's saying, while I was there, we became less intimidating. Something I've talked about for a long time. I am not specifically, by the way, putting this on Aaron Boone at all. I am putting it on the entire organization. They have gone a complete different route than than what they once were. The Yankees, for some reason, feel like they can drive a car with square wheels and it's going to work. It's like they feel the need to reinvent something when everybody else in the planet goes, guys, what are you doing? Get back to what you were. It's as clear as day. A-Rod said, grab that analytics, ball into the ball, and dump it into garbage. And I don't think that's A-Rod saying all analytics are garbage. I think it's saying, hey, look, you guys had a winning chemistry. Now you're bringing this bullshit in, and it's throwing it to hell. It's garbage. It's not working. How do you not see this? But again, folks, this is a lot of people seeing this. We're hearing this from, you know, former Yankee legends, uh, uh, former players, former coaches. The list goes on and on. The New York Yankees paid Zach Britton a lot of money. $13 million in 2019, $13 million in 2020, $13 million in 2021, and $14 million in 2022. Some people go, yeah, look, man, but he took his money, but look. He's not really saying anything wrong here. I understand people going, look, it kind of bothers me that he's saying this stuff upon his retirement. I I don't know how the question was posed to him. I'm reading what was written in an article. I don't know if they said, hey, what are your current thoughts on the Yankees? Or, you know, know, what was different while you were there compared to when you were playing in Baltimore? And I I just feel like he didn't say anything too, too bad. He kind of said, well, we already know. What the majority of us have been preaching for a long time, they're not an intimidating club. The Yankees have lost that aura, especially under Aaron Boone. Guys, I'm sorry. I don't give a poot. The guy said he was bullied by an umpire. The guy goes on television and... Under my umbrella, umbrella, hey, 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 hey. And swings his fucking shoulders like a schoolgirl. Let's get real for a second. This is a guy leading men in the battle. It's not a war. I get it. It's not war he's leading them into. But man, oh man, it's like the Yankees have gone soft. 
This is all I'm saying. It's as clear as day. Been saying this for a long time. Anthony Rizzo feels the clubhouse song should be Taylor Swift music. I saw videos of a Taylor Swift concert the other day. All I saw was young girls. I figured I'm not even knowing too well. God bless Taylor Swift, extremely talented girl. I figured the majority of a fan base is young girls. The Yankees seem like she's the team mascot. Zach Britton is not saying things that we do not know already. We understand all of this. This is not different. This is not some, whoa, oh my God, I can't believe he said this. Again, it's been repeated many times by many people. But the New York Yankees continue to kind of sit there and go, we know better than you. We're smarter than all of you. We're pretty damn good. These guys running this show, we're pretty damn good. I talked to everybody. They all said, you better keep that Aaron Boone because he is phenomenal. Mike Fishman, ain't nobody better out there, baby. He won so many fantasy leagues, your head will spin. I don't know, guys, but pretty intriguing stuff. There's been some other news today. Of course, Yamamoto officially posted, guys. You probably start hearing news and even more rumors over the next uh, couple of days before Thanksgiving. I wouldn't doubt it. Um, as he is expected at tomorrow, you can start, you know, having those conversations, uh, with, uh, negotiating tomorrow. But other than that, guys, I mean, look, it, it's more the same. We, we see more and more of this stuff coming out about the New York Yankees and what they've become over the last couple of years. And is it a coincidence that, you know, Brian Cashman really kind of took that helm. He was the one who hired Aaron Boone. He was the one who put all these guys in place and that, Many players now look at it and go, they've lost their way. And when you hear them talk, I got to be honest with you, it's like a bunch of guys in the dark room feeling around. It's like they're lost. They don't know what's going on anymore. It's a sad thing to see, but the way to make it better is go spend that money, go make some big trades, put the best talent you could possibly put on the field. Kind of like what Zach Britton said. Have the best of the best. Try to go for it. Soto's available. Don't get beaten. Yamamoto's out there. It's only money. Don't lose. You shouldn't lose. You're the Yankees. You shouldn't lose. Make a couple of deals. Hell, you want to add Bellinger with him? I'm not going to argue. It's not my money. I wouldn't personally pay him 25 plus million a year for a long-term contract. But shit, it's not my money. Let's get him. Be the big dog in the room again. Be the intimidator. I said it last year. Remember the offseason? The Yankees need to become the bullies. Enough of this nonsense. Enough of falling over on your back and showing your belly. Be the bully. Be the bully. Stop with that. I got bullied by an umpire nonsense. Stop it. Stop it. Be the old school Yankees again. Show teams you can beat them in many ways. Change your philosophy. Wake up. Guys, we are a few subs away from 20,100. Hit that like button. Subscribe to NYYU. Turn notifications on so you never miss a video. Again, guys, thank you so much. And let me know in the comments below. What do you think about Zach Brenton's comment? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you got a different take? Let me know. I'm going to be looking. I'm going to be checking it out, seeing what you guys are talking about. Until next time, baby. I'm out. Peace, baby. Can't make a promise, but I do my best. 25 sitting on 25 racks. Just got started, no, we ain't done yet. But a new crib, that's a goddamn flex. Goddamn flex. Sign that check. Told him last year that I've been up next. Can't take calls, but I send that text. From